Hey everybody, now Bloom here. Welcome back to my channel for some more Hogwarts Legacy on the PC. And uh, right now we are about to go ahead and uh, finally learn the unlock spell. So, are you a guy? Goldwyn Moon. All right. Hello again, Mr. Moon. Oh, I was hoping to see you again, my young friend. Uh, Gladwin Moon, Hogwarts caretaker, at your service. First, uh, please allow me to apologize if I seemed a bit uh, unsteady when we last met. I'm afraid I had a rather disconcerting encounter. Although I hear your visit to Hogsmeade was even more eventful than mine. I suppose you could call it eventful. I certainly wasn't expecting a troll attack. Oh, of course not. Uh, and from what I understand, the village was lucky you were there. In fact, my recent visit to Hogsmeade is the reason I was hoping to bump into you. I could use your help with something. Do you see that curious statue over there? Watch what happens when that light changes from day to night. What? It's glowing. Now, if you wouldn't mind humoring me for a moment, see if you can remove the moon from the statue. Ooh, odd little contraptions, aren't they? It seems the statue vanishes once the moon is removed, which, incidentally, can only be done at night. Uh, why don't you hold on to that one for now, and I'll explain more as we walk. Uh, ever since that fateful day in the village, those curious statues have begun appearing about the castle. A fair number have been strewn around Hogsmeade. Someone, it seems, is trying to torment me. You see, that day in Hogsmeade, I turned a corner and came face to face with a boggart, or, or shapeshifter, if you will, uh, which takes the form of whatever scares you most. This one took the form of a demiguise. A demiguise? <gasps> yes! Terrifying creature that can see the future. Wholly unnerving. I encountered one when I was a lad. Rebellion. Terrible. Uh, those statues are demigises. The moons, I assume, are an uninspired play on my name. Some jackanapes used a boggart to learn my greatest fear and use it against me. I have my suspicion as to the scoundrel or scoundrels responsible. It is my hope that they will slip up and reveal themselves as the statues disappear. That is why I need your help in removing the statues. Why me? A couple of reasons, frankly. Uh, first, your daring do against those trolls in Oxmede has gained you a reputation for fearlessness. Second, as macabre and hideous as a demiguise is, most would find my fear of them unwarranted. You, however, have seen how they affect me. I'm at my wit's end, young friend. I, I simply can't bring myself to go near them. In fact, I know of two statues right here in the faculty tower. Perhaps you could start simply by removing them so uh, I can go about my evening duties. All right, let's help him out. Why would I do this? Seems all risk and no reward. Oh, rest assured, there's very little risk and there is in fact a reward. I will teach you a particularly useful spell. Uh, first, you know how to cast a disillusionment charm, correct? Mm. You'll want to do that before wandering the tower at night. Uh, next, you'll notice that the door is locked. However will you get in? Hmm. Alahamora, that's how. But what about curfew? Curfew? Oh, tosh! I sent you a bit like me when I was your age. Oh, the school was my oyster. <laughs> and I took advantage of it. Oh, everyone loved me for it. <laughs> oh, those were the days. Uh, now, you'll find one statue in the prefect's bathroom and the other in the hospital wing. Good luck. Oh. Thank you. All right, don't we get to learn? Oh, I just said I said it. I was like, don't we get to learn the spell first?
Yay, we can finally unlock stuff. All right, let's slot it in. Uh, where can we actually slot this? Al Amora. Uh, where is it, by the way? Is that it? Oh, there we go. That's it. Cool. Nice. All right. Finally, we can do this. Let's check it out. Al Amora. Hello, Amora. I don't think that I need to even slot it, by the way. Use Q and E and A and D to move sparks or take the dials until both. Blah, blah, blah. All right, let's try this. Oh, I kind of get it now. Or do I get it? I don't think I get it. That was until both corresponding gears are activated to release the lock. Um, okay, I'm, I'm kind of confused right now. Did I like do it or move the red spark? So what do we do with the red spark? I have absolutely zero clue on what the hell I'm doing right now. What's even happening? So maybe if I... Okay, so this gets the, the green one in place. Is that it? Oh my god, this is this is kind of dumb to be honest. Well done, you're in. Remember, use a disillusionment charm so no one claps eyes on you. This is a Aloha Mora. All right, let's try this again. Oh my god. Is that it? Oh, there we go. Got it. Not reading all of this. There's just no way. Where am I, by the way? What the hell? Oh, would you look at that? We got another one of these. Oh, so we gotta find additional moons in order to unlock the level 2 one. Okay. Stylish top hat. Interesting. Casting Revealer reveals authority figures enemy locations. Alright. So we got a bunch of, let's call them bad guys over here, but we got patrol. Question is how easily can he spot us? There's the key yet. How are your students getting along with you? Rather poorly, I'd say. Is that so? Oh boy. Okay, wrong spell. Uh, I guess I gotta be higher than this. There's no way for me to cast Confring over there because it hits the railing. It's kind of strange. Oh shit! Oh my god, he spotted me. Seriously, what? Dude, fuck off, you look like a dork. Alright, try again, I guess. 
They're not as dumb as I thought. Lumos. Lumos. Oh shit. Why am I using Lumos? Am I dumb? Oh, there's a key. You know what? I think I'm gonna try and get this, by the way. Let's do it. There we go. We just gotta slap it now. Oops. Kinda flinched there for a second. Brilliant. Give me my house token. Alright, now I can go about my day. Um, level 2 lock. Hello, Homora. Actually. Alright, there we go. That should do the trick, right? Kind of getting the hang of this. What the hell is this room? So strange. My dear Abraham. Yeah, I'm not gonna read this. If, if anyone wants to read this, they can feel free to pause and read it, but I'm definitely not gonna read all of this. So, we came all the way here for 58 gold, seriously? Pretty strange room though <laughs> interesting all right uh whatever uh let's get out of here and hopefully we cannot get caught this time wow i missed the chest Revenio. okay where the hell are these two guys at they were just here right level three lock Okay, we need to find more moons. For the level 3 one, definitely. It might take me a while. I'm not really sure how to find them. Is there a side quest for them, to be honest? I'm not really sure. But, whatever. Revenio. Where am I actually supposed to go here? And is he like gonna spot me now or whatever? What's he gonna do? He got his back turned. Shit. Please don't spot me. Alright, I think I'm going in a completely wrong direction here, but I kind of want to explore a little bit. Alright. There's another key here. Where the hell is this thing going? Oh, oh my god, it's here. Never mind. Yeah. Got it. Perfect slap. This must be the prefect's bathroom. All right, there we go. That was easy enough. Oh, crap. There's three of them here. What the hell? Perhaps Ranrock and Hizot wouldn't be so combative if the Ministry would allow them to have one. One of them comes near me. Well, hell, I suppose. Anyway, I'm not afraid what? of the goblin event. Grab this. I 
There we go. That was pretty easy. Rugged dueling gloves. Okay. My god, there's a toilet here. We can flush the toilet. Yeah, I, th I think I gotta get out of here now. There's no more business that I have in here. Maybe we can go upper? Yo, asshole, go check it out. Come on. Stupid dork. Just standing there staring at the walls. Hey, what do you know? Blue flame here. Revelio. Alright, so is there something here, by the way? Let's see. Oh my god, I actually think that this goes to the lower level. Oh boy. Alright, I could have definitely taken a shortcut here. Oh shit, quest area. Alright, never mind. We gotta get back. Almost got caught there. Yo, check that out, buddy. Don't pay attention to me. Hospital wing. Revenue. Give me that. 17 out of 50. My venom is tentacular. Not at the moment, no. Plenty of other perils and pitfalls to send them my way, though. Oh, well, boy. Oh, my God. That's so much text. I, my now. I suppose Professor Black knows best, but the students are terrible. All right, there we go. I think we got it. Huh. I had planned Return to, to Golden. On Hufflepuff this season. Hufflepuff? Not Ravenclaw. Hufflepuff or a Ravenclaw? Yo, dork. There's something over there. Check it out, buddy. Oh my god, he spotted me. Seriously? What the hell? Oh my god, please don't tell me that we gotta do the whole thing again. Let me Shit. Oh, okay. That's Professor Garlic over there. Can you, like, look at the other thing, please? The Ravenclaw? I know when I see a winning bet. And Ravenclaw would not have been that. Oh my god, that was close. All right, we're almost out. By the way, how do I hit this? How exactly do I hit this? Incendio. Confringo. All right, there we go. There's a Confringo, but... Oh, my God. Yeah, we gotta actually find a way to get up there. Holy crap. Oh boy, there's a page here. Gimme. Dude, is this is this guy brain dead? What the hell? Just cast a Vada Kadav on him and be done with it, goddamn. All right, so spider plus 15. The gold, I think that the gold is two. Oh boy, we gotta check out the manual. Is that it? Yeah. So if I'm not mistaken, yeah, the gold is two. So, 2 plus 3 is 5. And uh, we need a 9. Which one is 9? Uh, 
Oh, the Hydra is nine. Right, what? Oh, it's on the it's on the other side. I was like, what the hell? Not this one. There we go. Got it. That was easy. Where does this take me, by the way? Let's see. There's a bunch of chests here. Collection Niffler statue. And an identified item. Ooh. This might be good. It's a hat. I've been in the market for a new hat upgrade. Alright, uh, I think we're done here. Let's go talk to our guy. Oh, crap. There's another one of these guys here. Yo. Go check out that shit. Come on, buddy. What? Dude, what the hell? What is he doing? Hello, Mr. Moon. I have the moons you asked me to collect. Oh, goodness! You're as fearless as I'd hoped. An excellent start. If we can collect more, it may shed some light on who's behind all this. Of course, I first suspected Peeves. He drove the previous caretaker, rancorous carp, to an early retirement with his intolerable buffoonery. But that does not explain the bogger in Oxmead, does it? No. I am determined, with your help, to discover the identity of my tormentor. Alright, so if I have time... I'll be glad to help. It's definitely intriguing. I'd like to help you solve this mystery. Uh, you, my friend, are a gentle person and a, a scholar. And I have something to offer in exchange for your assistance. Now, remember, the moons are only retrievable at night. Thus, I encourage you to use a disillusionment when necessary. How many statues are there to find? I don't know precisely, but I've spotted dozens. Seems they're everywhere I look. You have your work cut out for you, if you were to ever unravel their meaning. Okay. Understood. I shall keep an eye out. I appreciate that. There you go. I think that's quest completed. Oh, and I knew you were the one to ask for help. Uh, keep at it so we can solve this mystery. Oh, yeah. It's so soft. There you go. There's your quest. I what? always said that travel broadens the mind. All right, so what do we do now, by the way? I think I have one more quest. Beast class. What do we got here? Let's see. Oh, the man behind the moons. Return demiguy's moons to Galdwin. Uh, yeah, we're going to do this later. Right now, I'm going to do beast class. What do we got? Glacius. Guardian Leviosa. Oh my god, there's three spells here. Pop balloons over Hogsmeade Station. What? Venomous Tentacula. Acquire and use Mandrake on multiple enemies simultaneously. Oh boy. Cast the Poso on the Levitated Enemy. Okay. Uh, so let me just check something. Is that... Uh, where's the pulso at? This is the pulso. So we can just uh, do this and this three and one on the second row. And we can just be done with that quest. But we need to find somebody to fight. Well, now we're going to go beast class, I think. That's our best bet. West Tower, this is our closest pawn.
Oh boy, okay, I'm in the weird part of Hogwarts again. How the hell did I miss this chest? What? So, uh, I need to find a way to get down there. I think there's stairs here. What? You can't imagine how easy. You break your point. Where am I actually supposed to go here? Oh boy, okay. Whoa there, buddy. Level 2 lock. Alright then. I don't think that I'm actually in the, in the right spot. Yeah, we gotta go back there. God damn it. There's another way to go about this, I bet. Can I open this? Another cat. Alright, let's try and enter through here. Rebellion. It warms my heart to see your interest in Yeah, hi Professor Weasley. I wasn't supposed to be here. Level Hello, one lock, Lord. let's grab this. I have a newfound power. I love how the log just flies off the door. Alright, I guess that's everything here. Let's go and try and find our way into class. What are you up to now? Is that level level one lock? Alohomora. Damn, there's so many locks here. What the hell? All right, so where the hell am I? Chest with 45 gold in it. Is there anything else in here? I don't think so. All right, let's keep going then. Huh. What? What the hell was that sound? Hello, Hamora. Oh, there's a sweet spot. Revelio. All right, what's in here then? Is that a level level one lock? Alohomora. Oh my God, there's so many locks. There we go. Wow, is that a corpse? Rebellion. Oh my god. I think I just ruined a bookshelf. I just knock him over? Wow. Okay then. Rebellion. Is there more stuff for me here? Level 2 lock. Alright, so we got a moth. And a sphinx. Question is, where was that? Uh, you know what? I think I remember. 
Where's Lumos at? Lumos. Come here. I think it's over here. Not sure where exactly, but it's here somewhere. Okay, it's not all the way down here, for sure. What? Okay, I got lost again. Oh. There it is. Where's the key thing? There was a key here, right? Just casually waiting for me. There's so many things, man. Okay. I kind of wanted to get to class, but goddamn, there's so much to explore. There it is. Lumos. Expelliarmus. Incendio. Oh, that's ghosts. I was like, what the hell am I getting attacked here? Rebellion. All right, what do we got? Gold is two, plus two is four, so we need a six. Which one is six? Frog is a zero, I'm pretty sure. This is a two. I gotta check the guide again. God damn it. Man, I cannot memorize all this. So we need a six. Salamander is six. There we go. Easy. What? I'm stuck! Rebellion. All right, can we try and get to class now, please? We need to find the right path. Okay, I guess I took everything from here. Okay, that's a level 2 lock. And I'm actually back here again. Rebellion. Interesting. So, how the hell do I get to over there? You might can we like look at the map or something? Oh my god, I'm actually supposed to be outside. God damn it. I, I was looking for the castle and I was like, what? Where am I supposed to go? And we were, so, we were actually supposed to be outside the whole time. Good thing I actually looked. Alright. Where is it? It's up there. At the cottages, I bet. Beast class, here I come. All right, it's a little bit further, I guess. Level two lock. Rebellion. And right, there's nothing in here. How nice to see you, my young friend. All right, is there anything else in here, by the way? I see some beasts over here. Alright. Level 2 locks everywhere. I cannot unlock anything, so let's just start the quest.
Welcome, everyone. I see you've already met some of the many beasts we study in this class. Though be advised, none of these creatures should be taken lightly. They are all in their own way dangerous, especially if one does not know how to handle them properly. Now, it seems many of you are out of practice. Let's take some time to review the basics of how to care for a beast, shall we? Miss Sweeting, would you please assist our new student with the lesson today? Yes, Professor Howen. Hello, I'm Poppy, Poppy Sweeting. Don't worry about Professor Howen's speech. She over-exaggerates sometimes. <laughs> All the beasts in class are perfectly safe. Oh, I'm it's so cute. Miss Sweeting, pay attention, please. The tongue of a puffskin can be a slippery devil. Uh, yes, Professor. Here. You can practice on Gerald. Just keep an eye out for his tongue. <laughs> you can use my brush. Just be gentle. Oh, and think pleasant thoughts. I like to think it enriches his experience. Gerald, are you gonna behave? Let's see, the beast petting brush used to nurse your magical beast tap T to hover over the beast petting brush. Hold it, blah, blah, blah. Where is it? All right, there we go. So we need to drag it. Oh my god. That's lovely. I'm sure he feels much better. I think oh he boy, he's dirty as hell. Would you mind giving him some beast feed? So, oh my god. So we gotta give him feed. There we go. Eat up, little buddy. What do you suppose the pellets taste like to Gerald? Pudding, I like to think. I think we can safely say that Gerald likes you. Wow, I get, he, he kind of eats these, nice. uh, the, this he feed is. like my rabbit. Kindness is one of his best qualities, right after ambition. He's very gluttonous, to say the least. Everyone. Now, let's make our way to the pens and select another beast. And please, do be careful as you feed and groom them. Miss Sweeting, why don't you show our new student to the measles in the farthest pen? This way, the measles are over here. Oh, couple of measles whiskers ought to get me a few canuts at least. Enough to buy something from Honey Jukes. <laughs> uh, stupid thing. Uh, uh, what in Merlin's uh, name are you doing? Uh, tuss, tuss, peculiar Poppy. Worried about a worthless little rodent? Her name is Persephone! <laughs> Her name is Persephone! <laughs> That's really not funny. <sighs> Let's go. Oh, what a nice kitty. These guys were a-holes, by the way. Those two don't belong anywhere near this class. Poachers in training. Persephone was on to them instantly. Thank you for your help. Let's carry on. Feed and brush the measles just as you did with Gerald. Alright, eat up. Time to brush you. The measles really took to you. They know a good egg when they see one. As do I. Why the hell are they it so freaking dirty? Come to an end. Please close the pens and see yourselves out. Now, where is our new student? Ah, there you are. I would like a moment, please. Sure, why the hell not? Hello, Professor. You wanted to speak with me? I did. How did you find your first beast's lesson? It was wonderful. I believe I'm really going to enjoy this class. Good. You seem to understand that when beasts are properly controlled, they can play a vital role in our lives. 
Some provide us with magically imbued materials, if cared for correctly, which does not include torturing them for whiskers. Well done, by the way. Probably best to let me handle it next time. Yes, Professor. They're nearly as bad as the savagers in Rookwood's poacher pack. <sighs> Sadly, we're the ones who suffer, stumbling over dead beasts. Terrible waste of resources. Surely the poachers can be brought to justice by someone. The Ministry, perhaps? Hmm. An optimistic idea. Now, why don't we focus on more immediate matters that we can control? Professor Weasley has asked that I prepare some assignments designed to help you catch up to the other fifth years. Be on the lookout for my owl. Meanwhile, I also encourage you to study as many beasts as you can on your own time. Okay then. Over here. What do you want from me? Do you need something, Poppy? Thank you again for saying something to those brutes so that I didn't have to. You were an augury at noon in the desert. I certainly hope that's a good thing. It's something my gran and I say. It means that something or someone is a welcome surprise. At least, that's what we decided it meant. I couldn't stand there and watch them harm the poor thing. We're of a similar mind. Actually, in light of that, there's someone I'd like you to meet in the forest. You've intrigued me. Very well, lead the way. I'd hoped I would. All right, go with Poppy. Let's anyone. see. Where is she In taking fact, me? You're the first. Really? Hopefully she doesn't well, harvest my you. organs. I think. As I said, we think alike. Pleasant surprise. <sighs> Quite the weather we're having. What do you think? Poppy, where are you taking me? It really is much better if I Poppy, are we on a date here? She's taking me to see the countryside. We're nearly there. It's just ahead. Oh. Stand back. Magnificent. Go on, introduce yourself to her, but be careful. You must always show hippogriffs the proper courtesy before you approach them. So do we like bow down? Okay, what now? I don't think I've ever seen a hippogriff take to someone this okay, quickly. Okay, please don't peck my face off. You'd like. I yes, can let's brush her. her. Once in a while. Bring her pasties, tell her what's going oh, on. Oh yeah, she her. likes that. You wouldn't know from looking at her, but she's a dreadful busybody. All right, can we ride her now? <laughs> What did you think of High Wing? I thought she was brilliant. Can't believe you introduced me to her. I suspected you two might get along. Are you the reason students have been seeing hippogriffs flying above the Forbidden Forest? Hmm, perhaps. Did you know that once you earn a hippogriff's trust, they'll always be there for you? I've seen it firsthand with her. How exactly did you and High Wing cross paths? It's a longer story, but I rescued her from poachers a few years back. 
got her to safety and, well, she was fine until recently. You may have noticed that poachers are something of a problem in the area, so I worry they could get her again, and that I might not be there next time. Professor Howen mentioned the poachers as well. She seemed to imply that we couldn't rely on the Ministry to help. I don't often agree with Professor Howen, but on that, I fear she's right. The poachers' influence is growing. I see them every day in the village, lingering, talking to people. They're up to something. I'm just not sure what. That does seem strange. Sounds as if they're planning something. Exactly. I think I'm going to look into it. Find out what's going on. What they're doing. I think that's a fine idea. Information is power. And the more I know, the better I can keep Highwing safe. You seem undeterred. Will you let me know what you find out? Oh, very well. I will. I should be going, but we'll speak again soon, I hope. Damn, I really hate poachers, by the way, in, in real life also, man. I, I cannot understand why would somebody go ahead and kill innocent animals just to get their, for example, fur and stuff like that. That's terrible. But yeah, I guess you're going to have to hunt some poachers now and I'm going to have a blast killing them. I'd like your help with something. Alright, so my next destination is the free broomsticks and... She hasn't been herself lately. I'd like to take you up on your promise to visit her with me. I'm heading to Feldcroft soon, so I'll look forward to seeing you there. It's just south of Hogwarts. By the way, hope you're faring well with the blasting curse. It's still one of my favorites. I actually go now inside of here. Beasts class, I've asked Deke to assist you in using the room to further your studies in that regard. Please meet him there when you can. Ugh. All right, there's a lot of new quests here. I've not heard from my uncle Roland in quite some time. I've been beside myself with worry. Could you meet me in the courtyard? All right, we got four new quests. By the way, is there something up here? Looks like we can climb all the way up. What? What, what the hell is this? It's a whole freaking tower up there. Have I been here? No, let's check it out. Let's go exploring for a little bit. Revelio. All right, I definitely haven't been here. Curly Yun Pattern Cloak. Owls? Oh my god. Oh, they definitely did shit all over the place. Alright, I don't think that there's actually anything else here for us to grab. Or is there? Hear the bell. But I don't see anything. Alright, whatever. Um, you know what? Hogwarts map. We need to go to our common room. We need to speak to our little freaking uh, house uh, dwarf. House elf friend. I almost said house dwarf for some reason. No idea Deke. why. Ah, Deke is so happy to see you. And Deke noticed this bag in the room the other day. You must need it to help with your schoolwork. Deke has seen one of these before. Deke calls it a knapsack. Perfect for gathering and transporting beasts. Oh, pleasant little breeze. 
I have been thinking about something Professor Howen said in Beast's class, that I should study as many beasts as I can on my own time. She also mentioned that poachers have been active in the area. So, perhaps the beasts will be safer with us than out on their own. Precisely what Deke was thinking. You see, the room knew exactly what you needed. And luckily, Deke can show you how to best use the knapsack and where. Come along then. Our first stop will be beyond the castle grounds. We can leave now, or you can come and find Deke when you're ready to go. We can leave. I just need to identify my gear first, alright? Striking Paisley hat. Let's check it out. Gear. Also got better gloves, I think. What is this? Increases damage with the incendio. 21. No trade applied. Alright, we're gonna keep our gloves. We got 54. And damage with Bombarda. Yes, please. Oh my god, this hat actually looks dope. I like it. And it goes well with my scarf. What else do we got here? Yeah, I think I'm good with the rest. 36, 39, 40. Oh, this looks like trash. All right, I'm going to rock with this one. Deke, let's go. Uh, by the way, what can I do here? Connect the didn't leaves. Oh, so... Uh, let's see. Can we actually build something? Wigan will potion. Let's craft some. Revelio. I don't think that there's actually anything else that I can do here, but let's let's wait for this potion to craft. Grab it. Pick it up. I'm ready to learn how to use the knapsack. Perfect! Deke loves an outing. Finally, we can capture beasts. A nasty poacher. By the way, let me just check something. Is that Bombarda? That's Confringo. Oh, I cannot deal heavy damage on impact. Acquire an explosion that destroys heavy obstacles and surrounding enemies. I still don't have Bombarda. He did horrible things to beautiful beasts. Oh. It was during those days that Are those he uh, It'll be nice to see one used for good. We have arrived. Deke enjoys coming here to watch the beasts, especially the puffle of puff skeins nearby. It will be nice to keep them safe. All you will need to do is get close, direct the open knapsack toward the puff skein, and in it'll go. All right. All right, let's check it out. How do we do this knapsack? Is there a quick button or something? T. Oh, we have to equip it. God damn it. All right, so... I guess here. All right, we got one of these little shits. Let's capture some more. Ashwinder eggs, what? Is there any more puff skeins over here? I think I saw a couple of more. But they might have run away. Yeah, okay, what the hell is this? Dark mongrel? Can we capture a mongrel? Confirmed. 
Oh, oh, Cho. Wait, 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 wait. Yes. Gotta do this. Good thing I actually remembered. Let's go talk to our little guy. Um, I don't see no more puff skins over here. Or do I? Give me that. Settle yourself. I mean you no harm. Need to capture ten beasts. There you go. I think we have at least like four by now. Five even. Sweet. Is there any more here? By the way, can I actually capture the mongrels? Maybe I should have tried. Alright, I think we believe this. caught all of them. I managed to rescue a puffskin. You can rescue as many as the knapsack will hold. Poachers capture puffskins and, well, Deke isn't sure what they do with them. Uh, Deke is certain they will be safer with you. Now, not all beasts will be as simple to rescue as a puffskin. Deke suggests you next find a beast that can fly. A jobanol, perhaps. All right. Where would I find one? Deke knows of some to the west, nesting in a large tree overlooking Hogwarts. But we must be careful. Deke has seen poachers in the area recently. Deke will meet you there whenever you're ready. All right, meet Deke near the Jobberno habitat. What? Why is there still Paul here? I think it caught everything. Never mind. Uh, what's your next destination? Let's check it out. So, oh boy, there's a long run. So this is my closest location. Maybe I can grab the broom. Let's see if we can actually fly there. Um, how do we access tab? There we go, broom. Can I capture the goats? No beast targeted. Well, I guess these ain't no beasts. Rebellion. All right, there's the habitat. What's up here, by the way? You know what, I'm gonna capture all of them. There we go. We have ten, we need one more. Alright, there's the final one. Yeah, you're not getting away, buddy. Go in the sack. Get in my sack. I rescued all these beasts. And we completed the first que uh, quest part. Hello, Capture Deke. 10 beasts. Should we continue? Oh, good. Deke was worried about you. What with all the poachers in the area? Perhaps we should work quickly. The Jobanols are just here in this large tree. If it's helpful, Deke has seen Levioso used to slow flying beasts. Easier to get in close and use the knapsack. I've already rescued one, actually. 
Do you have another beast in mind for today? Deke does. A clearing nearby is home to a herd of moon calves. Just follow the footpath uphill and Deke will meet you there. Okay, where am I supposed to go actually? 150 meters away. Okay, that's pretty close by. I'm just gonna run for it real quick. Hopefully we found those uh, we find those poachers and we can actually kick their asses a little bit. Revelio. Of course. There's a chest there. There's actually so many things here. What? <gasps> There's a bunny! Can we grab it? I want a pet bunny. I already have one in real life, but I want one in game also. No, and I'm actually gonna gather all the resources Rebellion. first, then then we can actually start the quest. Okay, I think we're good here. Let's go talk to Deke. Hello Deke. Is this the clearing you mentioned? It is. Moon calves gather near the large tree with the spiral pattern in front, but only under the light of the moon. So, unfortunately, unless you have a way to hasten time, you might sometimes have to wait until nightfall to see them. I shall go and find a moon calf then. Deke will be waiting for your return. All right, let's go capture this beast. Settle yourself. I mean you no harm. Okay, but the rest of them ran away. Where the hell did they go? I think I see one more. Oh no, shit! No, you don't. No, it's ran away. Can I levy also, maybe? There we go. You little scrub. Rebellion. Trying to run away from me. Alright, they kind of ran away too much. And they're, they're definitely too hard to capture. If we don't Levioso or anything on them. Levioso. Grab it, put it in the bag. Everything's all right now. Revelio. No need to be difficult. I mean, you no harm. All right, there's two more. I'm gonna grab him and we're gonna go and talk to Deke. I'll look after you. Ah, now, shit. Now, I'm only trying to help. Trying to get away from me. You little shit. In the sack. There, there. Revelio. I think there's one more left. All right, you know what? I'm going to just leave you also him. I don't have Levioso. the nerves. Chase him around. There we go. 
How many do we have? Alright, that's all of them. Settle yourself. I mean you know home. That actually gives me XP. It's pretty trash, but it is what it is, I guess. It was a bit trickier than the others, but I have a moon calf now. Another beast, safe and sound. Shame we didn't see the moon calves dancing. It's a marvelous sight. Deke supposes you're finished here. He'll be able to rescue many more beasts, but for now, let's bring the ones you've gathered back to the room. All right. Deke will meet you back in the room whenever you're ready. All right, so Hogwarts map room. There you are. Now, we need to show the beast you rescued their new home. But, um, not enough room to let them out here. Imagine all those beasts running amok. That wouldn't do at all. Perhaps if you focus on what your beasts need, the room will provide. Hmm, what exactly did you think of? What is it? Deke isn't sure. Only one way to find out. Meet you inside when you're ready. Oh boy, okay, I guess this is our beast garden now. Look at this. It's amazing. Where are we, Deke? It seems to be a place for your beasts to live, a vivarium of some sort. Oh, your beasts will be quite comfortable here. They'll live healthy, safe lives. Perhaps you want to release them, let them see their new home. Of course, let's see. How do we do this, by the way? Manage beasts. The vivarium will be a fitting new home for your beasts. Indeed. I only hope we'll have enough space for all of them. Deke hopes so too. But if you do run out of room, Madam Peck at Brood and Peck in Hogsmeade will help to find safe homes for them. Any beasts that the room can't hold? Yes, she's well known for helping to care for beasts in need, and she'll give you a fair price for them. Speaking of care, beasts that are well-fed and groomed will provide you with valuable magical materials, such as puffskin hair, for example. If you gather some magical materials from your beasts, Dee can show you how to use them. Very well. I shall let you know when I have some. Alright, so we can actually groom our pets now. Let's see. Most Brush this. Excellent. Make them all shiny. And let's give him some food. Okay, it definitely takes a lot of time to brush him. All right, what about you, buddy? Eat up. Let's brush him and onto the moon calf.
There you go, Puff's Keen Fur. I've collected some magical materials, Deke. Now, Deke can show you how to use them. First, you'll need to use this spellcraft to conjure an enchanted loom. An enchanted loom? Exactly. It will allow you to use your magical materials to weave magic into the very threads of your clothing, making your clothing more useful in a variety of ways. Why don't you try it? Deke thinks you'll be impressed with what the loom can do. I'll go and experiment with the loom now. All right, where is that loom, by the way? Is it? Oh, it's back in the room. Never mind. Um, hello, loom. What? So am I like, what am I supposed to do here? Am I supposed to conjure it? Enchanted loom, there we go. Alright, let's set it down here. Uh, disassemble. Rotate. We got we got new paintings and stuff. Also, I think we got statues. Niffler statue. Maybe we can put one here. Yeah, it's not placeable, whatever. So get features uh, one primary. Offense and defense stat by default. Magical materials can be used with the loom to add an upgrade, a secondary stat, or apply traits to your gear. Multiple small upgrades can yield a meaningful boost in combat power. New beasts can re research at beast dens to unlock 10 quests. New trade recipes can be collected in bandit camps. Boom. Alright, so what if I just do this then? View upgrade. We can get 6 offense in this. There we go. So we need Niffler fur, bold warts, and jobber no feathers for 18 offense. Okay, so at least now I know how to upgrade stuff. That's pretty dope. So add a trait to an item of clothing. Uh, you know what? I'm actually gonna confringo. Came out nicely. I should show Deke. There we go. Um, or is that Confringo? It's Confringo, right? I didn't mess up. Yeah, there we go. My main damage spell. I use the enchanted loom, Deke. Wonderful. Will I be able to weave even more powerful magic into my clothing with the loom? You will by rescuing even more powerful beasts. For now, however, Deke suggests you explore the vivarium and get to know the beast you've already rescued. Thank you for your help, Deke. Alright, that was a pretty long quest, by the way. Anyway, so we finally learned how to capture the beasts. We finally got the upgrade uh, table over here. We can finally add traits and upgrade our gear. And I think that this is a pretty good spot to end this episode. Next time we're going to continue with the quests because like uh, we got like five more to do right now. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you made it till the end of the episode, make sure to subscribe if you want to keep updated with the gaming series that I do. Also, you can support the channel by leaving a like and a comment. That would be very much appreciated. And uh, I'll see you guys soon with a brand new video. Peace.